Good morning again. Well, Aussie filmmaker David Michaud's debut movie, Animal Kingdom, was an absolute smash, elevating the status of all involved. Jackie Weaver even getting an Oscar nomination. Now he's written and directed a futuristic western set in the Australian outback 10 years after a global economic collapse. I caught up with David and the film stars Guy Pearce and Rob Pattinson to talk about The Rover. What feeling do you have when you wake up in the morning? When your feet touch the floor. Guy, wonderful performance from you. Tell us about this, this strange character. I sort of had to go through a, um, a nutting out process with David to even try and understand the character because I guess by the time we find him, he's not really the man that he was anymore. He's, he's a fairly broken and fractured um, human being, if, if he even is a human being anymore. You don't learn to fight, your death's going to come real soon. It was an interesting process in, uh, in just trying to understand, I suppose, what can happen to the human spirit when it's actually taken to the, to, to the edges of, um, you know, of, of humanities. Because I believe in God, and I know Henry believes in God, and there's no harm Henry wants to see me come to. And I believe in that. Tell me about the decision. You know, I'm looking for a, a simple, kind of disheveled, southern guy. Robert Pattinson, who else? A, obviously you start seeing the character, you can, I can start seeing the movie come to life, but also because I knew how thrilling it would be to take someone of uh, Rob's kind of fame and celebrity and, and let, allow him to showcase a kind of skill set that I don't think people have really seen before. You're waiting for me. He's not waiting for you. Yes, he is. Rob, quite a departure for you. You've been in some of the, the biggest movies of all time. You know, I read it and I was like, oh, I really like this, and I kind of know how to do it. But at the same time, you know, for the last, every, uh, I'm, I'm not the guy who most people uh, would have gone to for this part, I guess. If something's exciting to turn up to work, I think that's what makes it easier. And every single day I had no idea what was going to happen. And I think it was because my character as well was just so loose. I mean, you can basically turn up with it having no idea what you're going to do. You should never stop thinking about a life you've taken. What's the price you pay for taking it? I'm still in control here. Did anyone warn you about the Australian outback? There's a lot of stuff out there that can kill you. <laughs> it's the middle of guys, one of guys' biggest speeches, and a, a piece of, uh, there's just been this massive spider, and then a piece of paper blew onto the, <laughs> blew through the sea, and literally almost <laughs> my pants. <laughs> you've experienced the, the highs of, of movie stardom. Um, you know, how, how do you feel about life and your career and your, your place on the planet? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's definitely kind of, uh, it's amazing to be able to do movies like this and stuff like that with Cronenberg. And like the last two years is just, it's crazy. I'm basically recreating my DVD shelf from when I was 20. <laughs> There's no harm God won't see me come to. God feels nothing for you. The only thing that means anything right now is that I'm here and he's not.